Okay, this will be our topic, the multiplication and divisions of rational algebra expression. Objective, to multiply and or divide rational algebra expressions. Before we start our discussions, let's have a recall on how to multiply divide fractions. So solve the following, write your answer in lowest term. Number 1, 2, 7 times 14 over 22. Dito, para isolve natin, gamitan natin sila ng prime factorizations. It means, we need to find the prime factors of all numbers na nakikita natin. Sa numerators at sa, sa denominators. The prime factor of 2 is 2 times 1. And the prime factor of 7 is 7 times 1. Times, the prime factor of 14 is 7 times 2. And the prime factor of 22 is 11 times 2. Once you set prime factors, dapat yung mga numbers na gagamitin natin ay prime numbers. Halimbawa si 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on. Yan. After natin makuha yung mga prime factors, mapapansin natin sa numerators o denominators na meron silang magkaparehas sa taas at saka sa baba. Magka-cancel tayo. Means, by pair ang cancellations natin. Isa sa numerator, isa sa denominator. Okay. Maka-cancel natin dito si 2 kasi may 2 tayo sa baba ng denominators or ng fractions. Meron din tayong 7. Ang natira ay 1 times 2 all over 1 times 1. Sir, hindi mo kinancel ang 1. Okay lang. Kasi special number naman yung 1. So, the final answer is 11. Number 2. 3 over 16 times of 8 over 9. The prime factor of 3 is 3 times 1. How about 16? What is the prime factor? This is the prime factor of 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. Or 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. So, apat na beses mo i-multiply si 2 sa kanyang sarili. Times the prime factor of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, tatlong beses. Which is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. All over, the prime factor of 9 is 3 times 3. Now, magka-cancel na tayo ngayon na magkakaparehas sa numerators at sa kasi denominators. Merong isang 3, makakancel ko din yung 3. Next, may nagkita akong isang 2, 2. Meron ulit akong nagkita 2 sa taas at sa kasi baba na cancel ko. And last, meron ulit ako nakita magkaparehas na 2 sa numerator at denominator. Ano ang natira sa numerator? 1. Ang natira sa denominator? 2 times 3. Simplify natin yan. And the final answer is 1 over 6. Number 3, 20 over 25 times of 15 over 8 or 20 over 25 times 15 eighths. Prime factor of 20, kung naisip nyo yung 4 times 5, expand nyo pa yung 4. Kasi yung 4 may prime factor, which is 2 times 2. So, nakuha ko ay 2 times 2 times 5 all over 5 times 5. Times the prime factor of 15 is 3 times 5. And the prime factor of 8 na nakuha natin kanina, umultiply lang natin ng tatlong beses ang 2. So, magka-cancel na tayo ulit. May 2 sa taas, may 2 sa baba. May 2 ulit sa taas, may 2 sa baba. May 5 sa taas, may 5 sa baba. May 3 sa numerator, pero walang 3 sa denominators. Means, we cannot cancel 3. Next, 5 and 5. Anong naiwan sa taas? 3. Naiwan sa baba? 2. So, the final answer is 3 halves or 1 and 1 half. Number 4, we have 6, 7 divided by 30 over 21. Sa pag-divide naman ng fractions, we need to follow that three steps. Tatlo pala yun. First, copy the dividend which is the 6, 7 or the first fraction. Second, change the operations to times. Instead na divide, gagawin na natin siyang times. Third step, reciprocal daw natin yung 30 over 20. Pag sinabi natin reciprocal, pagpalitin lang natin ang positions ng numerator and denominators. So, mayayari, 
copy 6, 7, change the sign to times, at magiging 21 over 30. Ayan ang ibig sabihin ng reciprocal. Okay. Kunin na natin ang prime factor ng 6 and 7, which is 3 times 2, all over 7 times 1. Times of 7 times 3, the prime factor of 21, prime factor of 30 is 5 times 3 times 2. Kung naiisip nyo yung 5 times 6, expand nyo lang yung 6, which is 3 times 2. Okay. Cancel na tayo. May nakikita akong 3 sa taas, saka sa baba. May nakikita ulit akong 2 sa taas, saka sa baba ng fractions. Meron din ako nakikita ang dalawang 7. That's why I cancel. So, ang naiwan sa taas, kasi wala namang 3 sa baba, 3. Ang naiwan sa baba, ay 1 and 5. Multiply, the answer is 3 feet. Number 5. 8 tenths divided by 16 over 20, or 16, 20. So, copy the first fractions or the dividend, change the sign, and reciprocal of the divisor or the second fraction. Expand na natin. Prime factorization. Sa 8, tatlong beses multiply yung 2. At sa 10, 5 times 2. Times of sa 20, 5 times 2 times 2. Sa 16, apat na beses na times yung 2. Now, magka-cancel na tayo. Dami natin nakikita magkaparehas. So, 1, partner, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sir, walang natira. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung lahat sila na-cancel, the answer is 1 over 1 or 1. Okay. After we have our review about how to multiply and divide fractions, with the using of prime factorizations of numerators and denominators, na kung saan magagamit natin on multiply, multiplying rational algebra expressions. If A over B and C over D are two rational expressions, then their product is A over B times O, C over B is equal to AC over BD. Pinagtabi lang muna sila. Since nagmagkatabi lang naman sila, saka mo lang siya isusimplify. And with that conditions, B should not be equal to 0 and D should not be equal to 0. Example, multiply. We have 3 given. Number 1, A over 2 times 3 over B. Wala tayong nakakancel. Pagtabihin natin. So, 3A over 2B. This will be the final answer. Kasi, wala naman silang common factor ang numerator at ang denominator na fractions or rational algebra expressions. Number 2. Pagtabihin mo na natin. So, 2CD all over 4C squared. Saka na natin expand yung mga factors ng numerators. Sa, uh, sa denominators, kasi sa numerators, prime numbers na sila. At the exponent of the variable is 1. So, i-close natin yan sila sa parenthesis. The prime factor of 4 is 2 times 2. C squared, since the exponent of C is 2, just copy C 2 times or twice. That's why meron tayong C sa, may dalawang C sa baba. Okay. Magka-cancel natin yung 2 at yung C. May magkaparehas pa ba? Wala na. So, ang sagot ay 2 over 2, a D over 2C. Number 3. Pagtabihin lang natin ng given na x plus 3 all over x minus 1 times of x minus 1 all over x plus 1. Pinagtabi, pero hindi tinanggal ang parenthesis. May nakikita magkaparehas? Yes. Yung factor na x minus 1 sa numerator at denominator. The final answer is x plus 3 all over x plus 1. That will be the final answer. You cannot cancel here x. Kasi ang buong factor nung kaninang number ay x plus 3. Example number 2. Multiply 5e all over e squared minus f squared times of 3e plus 3f all over e. Copy the given. Dito, gagamitin natin lahat ulit yung mga pinag-aralan natin last time. 
sa 3e plus 3f, we can use here cmf. So, the common monomial factor. So, ibig sabihin, factored out daw natin yung 3 kasi 3 is their common factor. Sa e squared minus f squared naman, yan yung dots. Difference of 2 squares. Why? Difference means minus of 2 squares. a squared is perfect squared. b squared is perfect squared. So, gagamit natin ang dots. Ayan. Pinaktored out si 3, we have 3 times of e plus f. Then, dots. The square root of e squared is e. The square root of f squared is f. Plus, minus, or minus, plus. May makakansel? Yes. The e plus f. At saka yung e. Ayan. Makakansel natin dyan yung e. Kasi wala silang katabing ibang terms na like plus 1 or minus 1. As in, isang term lang siya. Ano natira sa taas? 5 times 3 all over e minus f. So, the final answer is 15 all over e minus f. Example number 3. Multiply m squared minus 41, 4m minus 21 all over m squared plus 3m times of m squared minus 9 all over m squared minus 9m plus 4. Copy the given. Apply natin ulit yung mga method. The first one, GQT. What are the two numbers if you multiply negative 21? Pero kapag inad mo daw, negative 4. Ito o. Oh. Yan. Negative 4, ay negative 21, it means the two numbers magkaibang sign. Pero kapag inad daw natin, negative 4. So therefore, yung bigger number should be negative. So, ang naisip ko ay negative 7 and positive 3. Because positive 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. Next one, dots. Kasi perfect squared ang m squared and 9. The square root of na m squared is m. The square root of 9 is 3. So, meron tayo m plus 3 times of m minus 3. Sa baba naman, cmf m squared plus 3m. May common factor ang m squared and 3m. The smaller exponent of m is 1. So, yun ang common factor nila. So, we have m times of m plus 3. Last, GQT ulit. What are the two numbers if you multiply neg am positive 40? But if you add, the sum is negative 9. Since the product is positive, therefore, the two numbers parehas ang sign. Pero nung in daw natin, naging negative. So therefore, the two numbers are negative. So we have negative m, negative 2, and negative 7. So that's why we have m, m minus 2 and m minus 7. Makakansal natin yung m plus 3 and m minus 7. Wala na tayong ibang makakansal. So, meron tayong m, time, m plus 3 times of m minus 3 all over m times of m minus 2. Simplify natin to dapat naka-product form. So, the final answer is m squared minus 9 all over m squared minus 2m. Next, the divisions of rational algebra expressions. Here naman, almost the same lang sila sa multiplication. So, yun nga lang, meron tayong 3 steps na kailangan muna natin sundin bago tayo mag-solve in divisions of rational algebra expressions. Na kung saan, pupunta lang din tayo sa multiplication of rational algebra expressions. It's a definition if A over B and C over D are two rational algebra expressions. And their quotient is A over B divided by C over D is equal to copy the dividend A, B, A over B times of C of D over C, the reciprocal of C over D. Multiply natin pag dikitin, that's why we have AD over BC. With the conditions, B should not be equal to 0, and C should not be equal to 0, and D and should not be equal to 0 also. Okay. Example number 1. Yeah. First step, copy the dividend and reciprocal of the divisor change sign the operations. Wala tayong mga cancel, so the final answer natin dyan. AB times, uh, AB all over 
2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So, the final answer is AB over 6. Number 2, copy C squared over 4. Reciprocal ng CD over 12 is 12 over CD. Then, multiply. Pagdikitin muna natin, then expand. And 12, the prime factor is 2 times 2 times 3. Yung C squared, eto. Since the exponent is 2, kinopya ko lang ng dalawang beses. Sa baba, the prime factor of 4 is 2 times 2. Close natin sila lahat sa parenthesis. Then, dito tayo magka-cancel. Ayan. May makancel tayo si Yes. Ano natira? 3C over D. This will be the final answer. And next, number 3. Copy muna X minus 1 all over X plus 4. Reciprocal natin yung divisor. So we have times of X plus 1 all over X minus 1. So we can cancel here X minus 1. Ano natira? X plus 1 all over X plus 4. Example number 2. Divide x squared minus 4x plus 4 all over x squared plus 2x divided by x squared minus 4 all over x squared plus 4x plus 4. Copy mo ng given. The dividend, copy. Then reciprocal natin to x squared minus 4 all over x squared plus 4x plus 4. Ayan. Then, apply natin yung mga method na pwede natin gamitin para makuha natin yung mga factors nila. Okay, first one is PST. Perfect squared ang x squared and 4. Square root of x is x squared is x. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times x, 2x. Multiply natin sa 2, may again 4x. But here, minus so, therefore, yung factors natin ay minus. Ayan. X minus 2 times X minus 2. Next is PST. Almost the same lang siya sa nauna. Pero dito ay plus. Gagawin natin, magpa-plus-plus lang tayo sa factor. Ayan. Next dito, the common factor is X. So, factored out natin yung X. May iwan sa loob. By using CMF, x plus 2. Last, that's ang gagamitin natin dito. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 4 is 2. So, mayroon natin plus minus. x minus 2 and x plus 2. <coughs> Taas sila tayo. So, x minus 2. x plus 2. Dalawa. Ano natira? x minus 2 all over x. Thank you.